right. What's up, everybody? It's your boy. Before everyone freaks out, here's a, today's lesson. Number one is make sure you are withdrawing money out of your BitMEX account when you win. Okay? I made sure to pay myself 0.6 Bitcoin out of my profits. Um, I said that's going to taxes. That's what it's going to. Preparing myself for tax season. As far as the position that I'm in, you know, things have pretty much gone the way we've expected them to. Maybe not exactly T to T, but the overall increasing on Saturday through Sunday morning to now we are decreasing into Sunday afternoon. If you've been following me the past few days, uh, that's on track. We had a little spike here with ADA. We've been using Cardano to kind of guide ourselves through whale vision. Um, I want to talk about setting stop profits or stop losses on BitMEX. Every time I post a position, everyone always asks me what my stop is. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. With BitMEX, we really don't like using stops because BitMEX hits them on purpose. Two days ago, I set a test. I had about a million Cardano being traded. And I put 400000 at a pretty reasonable stop profit, right? Um, and, of course, it literally went up and boop, 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 ate my stop to the T. I believe this was it right here. I was trying to find the, the exact time, but literally, um, there is a candle somewhere. Forgive me if I can't find it now. But it went up, ate my stop, then went right back down. And that is a purposeful move by BitMEX. Whatever, is what it is. I'm still swimming in the BitMEX uh, matrix, dodging the machines, and uh, making a decent living for ourselves and you people, hopefully. So, as my position right now, I am short on Ethereum. That's it, nothing major. I am expecting us to drop coming into Monday another drop. It might not be popular with everyone, uh, but this isn't a popularity contest. We're here to make money. Hanging in the 63-somethings 63, 63 isn't really a, a, a good sign. Mondays overwhelmingly are bearish. We've had a couple Mondays where they pop up. We've had some Mondays where nothing happens. So, the smart move, if you're a betting man, is betting on it going sideways and down. Not trying to get lucky on a pump spike, hoping that, uh, I mean, look at this. Look at this. We're pretty much right on point here, you know? Right on point. Yes, there is a bottom line here, um, but this top line's even stronger. It looks like Alessio took a page out of my book. He drew a new triangle. He drew the new triangle after watching our video. Alessio, I know you're watching. Um, you're a cool dude. I'm not hating on you for maybe quote unquote missing a call, yada, yada, yada. But it's all good. So shout out to Alessio. You know, you know us Italians got to look out for each other. What else? Um, I think... That's pretty much it. Let's scan a couple Bitcoin. Bitcoin Cash. I should have held my short in Bitcoin Cash. This is something you can keep keep on shorting. Um, but I, I, I stopped. I, I yanked uh, good profits out of Bitcoin Cash. Of course, I wish I would have stayed in, but that's how it goes. Um, there's plenty of days left in cryptocurrency life. Where it's not the end of the world. Just because, you know, I took profit, exited those trades, doesn't mean that we won't be able to profit next week and every day after. Okay? So, uh... We were looking at a Chinese Chong formation here. And, I mean, it's the weekend. Anything goes. All bets are off, for the most part, on the weekend. We'll see. I'm, I'm not shorting Cardano any uh, right now because it's just so volatile. We're just using Ethereum. Took a nice hefty profit out like I mentioned. Make sure you're taking money and paying yourself.
pay yourself. Don't just let it get exponentially bigger and bigger and bigger. And then you're putting it all on the line. You miss and you lose your money. Um, we've all done it, myself included. Oh, yes. I know what I wanted to look at here. This pattern. Very interesting. Very interesting. Do you guys remember this? One hair up, two hair up, one hair down. And then, do you guys remember what happens next? One hair up, and then another hair up. This is a certain possibility as well. We have some space from this triangle, so technically, there is room for maybe Bitcoin to bounce up a little bit, maybe to the 6,400 before we get knocked down again. Possibility, there's a lot of variables pointing both directions. So in times like these, don't force yourself a trade. Go eat a cheeseburger, go deliver a pizza, do something else, go see your girlfriend, go get a girlfriend, play with your kids. So we'll see. There's indicators both ways, both ways. But congratulations to um, anyone that's been following us. We've been kicking ass. It's been a good weekend. And I'm looking forward to this upcoming week to see what happens. couple possibilities out there. Peace.